Thanks, John. Thanks, Nina. Coming up on Morning Live today, we're continuing our Christmas Cost of Living Week with consumer champs Mavis Ackley and Dom Littlewood. They're fighting for your festive rights on receipts, returns, rail and mail. Plus, Matt Allwright's investigating. And Sarah Davis is giving oh, paper back. That will make your family and friends green with envy. Morning Live with me and Sam. Yes. Scraping ice off the car this morning. But we're lucky because warming up our Wednesday here in the <laughs> studio is Mavis, Dr Oscar and Tyler. Good morning. 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 Um, Mavis, I'm going to come to you um, because it's obviously getting a lot colder now and we're looking for alternative ways to heat ourselves up with the cost of living crisis. And one of those ways is using hot water bottles. So what's this news about them having an expiry date and you can only use them for three years? Is that right? Yes. So on your hot water bottles now, they have... Um, right as you said, Sam, you should only keep them for three years and not put hot water in them. I wish I would have known that when I had mine. Yeah. So, so hang on. So, sorry, sorry got you, yeah. I've had three hot water bottles and every three have burst in the night <gasps> and have woken up wet. Yeah. I actually so thought dangerous. I'd wet myself. <laughs> dangerous. The water was did. cold. <laughs> well, no, it, one day it was quite warm and that's why I thought, oh, have I had an accident? But not hot. I knew it was getting old, Gethin, but I didn't think I'd reach that <laughs> stage <laughs> yet. Maybe we've all <laughs> sit Move around in your sleep. Oh, I think you're going to be looking at whether some yeah. health headlines... There is. There's been a festive flurry across the newspapers. We're looking at whether your furry friends, and I mean your Christmas tree, not your dog, <laughs> could be causing you allergies this Christmas. How about yeah. walk yeah. backwards into Strictly Fitness? Yeah. <laughs> also coming up today, in 30 minutes, we're hearing in camouflage to photog for, for, to, for, to, can't say it all morning. <laughs> Photograph wildlife. He's telling us why he's now getting used to being in sequins and shouting about reaching the semi oh, really? well, Listen, it's a long yeah, well, it'd be Amazing, wasn't he? What you might not have seen there is whilst that was going on, Mavis was doing her old Charleston over to join us on the swivel chair uh, with Dom Littlewood. Nice to see you, Dom. Morning, Dom. Discontent, but with more industrial action planned leading to potential Christmas chaos, we are doubling up on our consumer champs with you two this morning. Mavis, let's start with uh, postal strikes then. Should we just do a reminder of when they are to start with? This is what we've got for postal strikes over the next couple of weeks. Get your Christmas card sorted now and plan ahead so you don't lose out. There's still won't. time then, is there? There's still time to do that. I mean, they, they've actually brought forward the latest um, posting date. So basically, your second class postage date, the latest of date. December. So those are your dates. So book early, as they say. <laughs> well, yeah, get organised. Uh, Dom, it's the season when everyone's trying to see friends and family in all different parts yep. of the country. What if people are having trouble with transport when it comes to strikes and delays? System. And I'll tell you a little tip which you have to do. Uh, now, if you're trying to shopping yet, Dom? That's the way to do it. I always <laughs> take Dom's Lord. advice on that. Has she got a gift receipt for all her presents? consumer rights that the purchaser has are passed on to the receipt. Maybe that's a receipt you might want to keep, which not a lot of people do, is your turkey. Your turkey. Who'd think of keeping your turkey receipt? Well, it is a good idea to keep a receipt, especially for all your Christmas meal stuff that you buy. Because under the Consumer Rights Act 2015, if you find that your turkey has gone off, say you've bought it and it's got the right sell-by date on it, and when you open it, it smells a bit dodgy or a bit rancid or it looks a funny colour you know you can things look a bit dodgy don't they when then it's probably gone off i personally wouldn't be cooking it but see the goods have to be what they call of satisfactory quality so if it's not of satisfactory quality then you can claim a refund if you go ahead and cook it maybe you put a few herbs and spices on it you didn't realize it was gone off um, and it ruins the whole of your dinner you've poured gravy because you've made it from the juices of the turkey and the giblets like you do you can actually because they say like it's a consequential loss the supermarket could you know be liable for that then you could actually claim for all your vegetables and everything else that you put on there so do keep your receipts um, that is the main thing um, if you do sort of find that you have eaten something and it has, you didn't realise it had gone off, but it has gone off and it causes you food poisoning. Yeah, that's Again, a... I mean, this is another yeah. dangerous thing. Food poisoning isn't a very so nice thing to have. it's definitely worth doing, Because, yeah. you know, I, I had it. Keep your receipt. Keep, keep your, your receipt, packaging. Keep, keep your, your turkey, packaging. Keep it all. Get it back. Because you don't want to be in a sticky situation. January the 3rd, Mavis turns up with the full Christmas dinner and says, I want my money back and they probably give it to you as well. <laughs> Thank you both. Useful stuff. And from online and high street shopping to 
scammers setting up bogus companies at your own home address. It's happening to thousands of people every single year without them even knowing. Mm, the first sign is usually a letter landing on your doormat with the name of a business that you've never even heard of. So we sent Matt all right. When I saw that we were doing this film, uh, really? I did someone has set up a business. A bit. So I've started the procedure now to, to bring it to an end. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it won't take you too long. You yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we contacted Companies House to ask it what it thought about this. It told us it's aware of this misuse of the company register and it does work with law enforcement to support investigations into this we're misuse. joined by Dr Oscar now to take us through the latest health headlines. Uh, Oscar, you're going to be separating fact from fiction for us. Let's dive straight in, shall we? OK, the first one we've got. Is your Christmas tree making you sick? So most people are hopefully get more and more mold, more and more symptoms. So people, <laughs> if you're ever near a treadmill, you'd want to look at people going forwards versus going back to lose your pride than any weight. <laughs> OK, um, this is a headline which could worry a lot of people. So, uh, you know, people are, are concerned uh, that... Come all wine away. So yeah, we're all... bad cholesterol in those, in those patients. Mm, with the they... festive spirit on the show, because still to come, presenter Lucy Siegel is... Plenty of festive sparkle. Oh, five. And why Hamza is loving shimmering in sequins every That's Saturday. Uh, a bit later on. And uh, this, a lady with us this morning. Strictly this year, please. OK, we're going to be making some eco-friendly decorations. We're very excited to do this. We're going to all get our hands a little bit dirty, yes. so go ahead. What we do is... draw, like, a nice little point. The top is I want you to cut the first <laughs> one out. With. By the way, these three are working hard as well. They're going to do one together. Crack on, you lot. Oh, oh hey, who's going to be in charge <coughs> of gluing? That's what I want to know. Who knows? The gluing. Yeah, certainly. At home with the kids, I would use a bit of white PVA. Oh, if you do it with your glue, Sam, it's the same for you. Yeah. Have you? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> it does worry me, you with that glue gun <laughs> there, though. Right? <laughs> so always about half an inch from the bottom. Take about an hour for the glue to dry. So when I do at them at home... with the kids, you've been doing them on tour as well, haven't you? I have indeed. So, oh, yes, I want for the tree. Ooh, we do our own They, they, they even secretly send love them it. out crafting it. seem to be enjoying it. Mavis is keeping them in check, I think. I've had oh, a good luck with that, Mavis. I wouldn't like to be... <laughs> Drawing and cutting, we've done right. our bit. Come on. Tyler's looking good with the glue gun, though. Have you got all nine of them glued together, Gethin? How are I've you well, looking? I've run out of glue after about yeah. six. Yeah. So. Have they not given you another glue hey, stick? Right. Well, wow, Sam has wrestled that Sarah, a beautiful... Sarah, I mean, I Sarah, didn't know what you were talking yeah. about, about the <laughs> PVA glue not working, because that is... You're an inspiration. And sorry, <laughs> listen, stand by, stay where you are, because you're going to love this next bit, because we've got a bit not more one to invest in. Yeah, for the last few weeks, we've been asking for your decorating tips, tricks and traditions. So we've wrapped them all up for you to have a look. What a oh, Rory. Oh, Rory. I'll get my kids involved in Good that. Good idea. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> OK, it's time for some Strictly Sparkle now. Fresh from the roaring success of their Lion King routine at the weekend, Hamza and Evita have stormed through to the semi-final. So many people around the UK loved Amazing. that couple's choice dance. I know you... Thank you, Thank you. Much, uh, Hamza. Yeah, it was so good. And so many, you, Evita. One of your favourite routines so far... Was this salsa? It's definitely coming. Sure. It's coming for Christmas. It's, it's just I can feel it. it. Up, that's all. Um, <laughs> Hamza, in our house, we have lots of CBBs on, and we are big fans of you. As Ranger Hamza, seeing you in your camouflage, doing your thing. So this experience with sequins, lots of noise. I mean, how's it been for you? It must be a, a completely different experience. I love that when people say, you know, I'm not always <laughs> in front of 50 <laughs> minutes. You won Strictly last year, but it's your first year with. On a journey, you're here, you're at the semi-finals week, which means two dance routines. Mm. How's that going? Give us an insight to how hard the work is. And really wants to know the answer to this, because, you know, time... <laughs> you're right. Like, four just so difficult. Can I just Literally say that he's doing really well? And football. I, so, yeah. Exactly that, well yeah. Well-timed. <laughs> well-timed. <laughs> That's true. A Charleston and a Waltz, two very different dances. Which Training, we'll, we'll see you on Sunday. But with 100 million bags of waste going to landfill every festive season, eco enthusiast and presenter Lucy Siegel is sharing her tips to help you yeah, go from green. Lucy, while well, staying in the festive spirit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, earlier on in the show today, we were talking about the flower symbol on hot water bottles, and we've had a message from Andrea. Oh, short, I had three skin grafts and two months off work to repair the damage to my body. I have never felt pain like it. Remember, never fill with boiling water and they have a shelf life. Great advice and Andrea we hope that you're uh, all well now. Yeah they say the shelf life is about three years so if you do have a water bottle like the one you just saw here yeah. replace it three to stay years. safe. Thank you. Three years indeed. Uh, time for Strictly Fitness now. Tyler West in charge. Cue the music. Jeez.
Do the dance. Do the dance. Oh, it's, oh energy's phenomenal too today, far. guys. Too right, far. today we're going to be doing an iconic <laughs> Charleston step from Bill and Warm Up. So, first things first, some Snow Angel arm raises, all right? So, just there. Ooh. Move the, the knees in the spot as well. Just keep those going. And then the second warm up move as well will be some shoulder rolls flakes, back. So, now we've got the shoulder rolls oh, back. Okay, yeah. Good. Yeah. Shoulder rolls back. That will be the second move. And then to the Charleston step. So, we're going to go party. Party. That's it, Mavis. Party. Oh, Mavis knows this move. Party. Don't you, there we go. Side, 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 side. All of that together, and then we've got the Charleston. Make sense? Makes sense. Yeah. Makes Perfect. sense. Makes sense. With a midweek workout, it's Tyler West. Love a Charleston. Love a Charleston. Here we go. Snow Angel arms right there. Never do the Charleston. Ah, oh, well. we've got the shoulder shoulder shoulder. rolls as well. Shoulder rolls. He's done this before, right? Yeah, he did. <laughs> he was sensational. <laughs> To one side and, and the party. other. I'm in the party. And party. party. That's his and party. And party. And party. Halfway through, Tyler. Look, you're basically, you're basically Bill and OT on the show this morning. This is it. We're doing this keep all the way to the end. I think, well, I mean, can you keep it up to the end, Gavin? Well, I said you, you're the boss. You're the one in the seat as I'm well. I'm not going to argue so there with you. Go. Look at you. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, don't bring up the sweat. You can fight yourself. There you go. Freestyle it out.